Mayo Clinic is the world's largest multi-group practice. In the early 1900s, Dr. William Mayo and Dr. Charles Mayo developed the concept of the group practice of medicine. Believing that the sharing of diverse skills for a common good is in the best interest of the patient. And every um, person that ever comes to Mayo Clinic has one-stop shopping as a patient because if they come for dermatology and we also notice they need something in rheumatology, we can refer them right immediately. That integrated approach of the Mayo Clinic here in Arizona serves more than 90,000 patients a year from all 50 states and many foreign countries. For 23 years, the respect and compassion of the Mayo Clinic has been in Scottsdale. In making sure that we're providing the best service to the patient, in making sure that our safety record is at, is at a very high uh, premium, and to make sure that the value that the patient gets, I didn't say the cheapest cost, but the value that, that the patient gets over time is the best value that they could get in healthcare. Delivering value in this economy is a must. One way the Mayo Clinic has adapted is sharing services between three separate sites and retaining its workforce by hiring only mission-critical unfilled positions. Uh, we realize that we can't sustain ourselves by cutting back and not traveling and not purchasing. Um, the long-term strategy that we have in place is either, number one, finding new product, or number two, finding new markets. Um, we have always had innovation in our medicine, whether it be surgery or procedures or laboratory. Uh, the option that we have is broadening our patient base. And you've probably read recently where Mayo Clinic signed a contract with United Healthcare. That's thousands of lives now that can come to Mayo Clinic who before that could not come to Mayo Clinic. And so those are the kinds of uh, strategies that we're putting in place to sustain ourselves for another 100 plus years. Congratulations, Mayo Clinic.